So I have the gift today of talking to you about explicit instruction. Explicit instruction simply is instruction that is quite direct. It is unambiguous with the goal that the students would get it, would understand it, and would learn. We have a lot of confusion around the term explicit instruction, so let me sort of augment and add to that. One question I'm often asked is, wouldn't it be more motivating for students uh, to learn uh, it on their own, to discover it, uh, to use authentic problems to discover it? Uh, and it's as if we have set up a total dichotomy uh, between explicit instruction uh, and discovery, but we really should view it as a continuum. And when we look at the research on instruction, we learn what are the attributes of that continuum. For example, if you are teaching children that are novices, uh, that have just never learned this body of knowledge in the past, it appears that they do much better if we explicitly teach them the information, whether it's knowledge or skills or strategies that we teach it. If they are learning a body of knowledge that they've not learned in the past, uh, they're brand new to algebra, uh, they are new to decoding of words, then they really benefit from very explicit instruction. So those two things, when the student is a novice, when the knowledge is new, explicit instruction would be desirable. But then after you've gained lots of information, you've gained lots of skills, then discovery is much more a viable option, but only after you've had explicit instruction. So one of the things that I also would be reminded of is the research, if you happen to be a special ed teacher, an interventionist, uh, and you are working with struggling students, uh, we definitely know that they are going to gain more with very explicit instruction uh, than discovery. You know, if they had discovered it, they would not have been struggling. And so we need to have very explicit instruction for them. And what would that mean? Well, we could actually take explicit instruction and put it into two areas. One is the design of the instruction, and the other is the delivery of the instruction. And the design of the instruction means that uh, we pick important content to teach them, uh, we break it down into obtainable pieces, but then our lessons are organized uh, so that more learning could occur. For example, I often talk about three major steps in teaching children skills and strategies, where I do demonstration, guided practice, checking for understanding. I do it, we do it, you do it. And many of the skills and strategies we teach would follow that pedagogy. Um, but it also means that the students are not, direct, not only directly taught it, but they have practice. And actually, I'm going to tell you, my concern is often that we're not giving adequate practice. Uh, I am constantly hear people say, well, you know, Anita, that is just drill and kill, drill and kill. And I can tell you, uh, we have no reported incidents of children dying of practice. Instead, look at the research, the abundant research from cognitive science and from learning uh, on practice. The students need uh, deliberate practice where they're practicing with a purpose. They need practice that is spaced over time, not all in one session. And they need to retrieve information in that practice. So it's a combination of very uh, explicit instruction with I do it, we do it, you do it, followed with deliberate uh, and space practice uh, and retrieval. But here's what I've noticed. I've had the great blessing of teaching for 52 years and do demonstrations uh, all throughout every year. And what I have noticed is that students need better delivery skills than we've done in the past. For example, all instruction needs to be interactive. I say something, you say something, I write something, you write something. All explicit instruction would be very interactive with uh, students actively engaged throughout the entire lesson. And we would give them, we'd monitor and watch their responses, give them feedback on the responses, uh, and we would maintain throughout the whole lesson a very perky pace. So those are some of the attributes uh, of uh, having very explicit instruction. Uh, and we know that then I set you up 
for your ability to solve authentic problems. I set you up for being successful. I set you up to generalize information to other situations. But this means we gotta keep the teach and teacher. And we have to provide the teaching that our students need. So let us never forget the research on explicit instruction. Because if learning is our goal, then a lot of explicit instruction needs to occur there. Bless you in your career. May you thrive as an educator.